welcome. Your presence here is no coincidence. It marks the beginning of a meaningful connection designed to deliver a powerful message from Apostle Joshua Selman right to your doorstep. This message carries the potential to not only bless you, but also ignite inspiration for greatness within you. Open your heart wide and allow your mind to embrace the profound in before we dive deeper. I warmly invite you to actively participate in this significant moment. Show your support by liking the video, sharing it with those around you who may find it valuable, and subscribing to our channel for a consistent flow of insightful content. Your support is genuinely appreciated and plays a vital role in our ability to continue sharing these meaningful messages. As you tune in to absorb this special message, may blessings overflow into your life. In the name of Jesus, the Lord bless you, the Lord honor you, the Lord keep you, the Lord protect you, the Lord preserve you, the Lord announce you, the Lord glorify you. In the name of Jesus. There are many people today with all due respect to them who should not have died if they knew how to buy into God's voice using the medium of dreams and visions. For others they saw, but they could not understand what was being said. Dreams, visions. Have you ever wondered why people go to bed and as soon as they lay their head, a miracle happens is that not what happened to jacob in chapter 28 of genesis the bible says he went to um now laws and laid down there to sleep the bible says when the man went to bed oh suddenly he had a dream and he saw a ladder that connected the earth to the heavens and god speaking there i can tell you ladies and gentlemen many of the questions you have been asking god Lord, what is the next phase of my life? Should I stay in Abuja? Should I go to America? If you understand and receive this gift of the seen eye, you will marvel and wonder that you will go to bed and one night's sleep will download the desk. Let me tell you this. One of the primary ways that God blesses men is through the works of their hands. I hope you know that. One of the primary ways that God blesses men is by blessing the works of their hands the fruits of your mind products of your creativity for some of you the reason why your destiny has remained stunted is because you are too big to start small too big to start small how can i be a member of prayer department and that's all i do every week whereas in my destiny I've seen that one day I will be praying even with the fathers. You will never get there if you cannot humble yourself to start small. How can I be in a welfare department yet there is a mighty prophet imagine from me. There is nobody who starts where you meet them in glory. They start usually in darkness and they grow as they evolve. David starts from the wilderness killing the bear, the lion, feeding the sheep, and he's trained to not just become the shepherd, but to become the king. Hallelujah. I vowed to God many years ago, and that still remains my commitment, that everywhere he puts me per time, per season, I will serve with all my heart. Whether I'm here in Abuja, or in Zaria, or anywhere around the world, the stage is the same for me. The assignment is the same. I will preach with as much passion here as I will preach in America, as I will preach in Zaria, as I will preach in a Bible study of three people. I will still shout the truth to their faces until they become. The next 10 years of your life, you will stand up and be writing like someone is dictating and you will take steps that lead you triumphantly. It's an advantage that the saints have dreams and visions and satan wants to abort and sabotage your destiny he tries to stop you from seeing because satan is a master at creating blindness are we together he does not just blind your mind he blinds your eyes he blinds your understanding two things when satan wants to destroy the life of dreams and visions he will manipulate it 
so that you keep taking wrong steps in honor of what you are seeing and you keep failing then a time will come in disappointment you will no longer trust what you see are we together i saw this i took a step later i found out it was not god i saw this i took a step later i found out it was not god it will plant fear in you so that the next thing you see you say no my hand is not there again i will not make this mistake and in it you will lose precious opportunities do you know that the rescue of jesus as a baby came by revelation to joseph through a dream if dreams were not powerful and were not god ordained god will not use it the best channel to communicate the rescue of the Savior who could die was a dream. Hallelujah. When believers go to sleep, I hope you know, sit down please. The first thing Satan manipulated in the life of Adam and Eve, Eve particularly, was their eyes. The dynamics of the fall of man started with his speaking, his manipulation, but it went to their eyes. The Bible says when the woman saw, what she heard was there, but until it affected what she saw, it had no power over her. Regardless what the serpent was saying, she still had her stamina and her nakedness was not there. Regardless the information, but the moment it translated to an alteration of her vision, when she saw, she acted upon what she saw and fell. Hallelujah. In fact, it was, it was Paul, I believe, who was speaking. He said, I fear lest Satan beguile you with the same subtlety that he used for Eve in the garden. Do you know how he made them fall? He manipulated the power of their sight. He casted an image upon them and they responded to that image to their detriment question do you know what happened to the four lepers and the people who ran away and brought blessings to samaria it was first a manipulation of what they heard but it was beyond what they heard i believe with all my my heart that their eyes had a role to play what you hear may not be enough to you can't just be running because you had sounds there has to be something your eyes see to convince you because you can doubt what you hear but you cannot doubt what you see there are times that when you place a call you are hearing someone's voice but either because there is a network problem or perhaps the person has some cold he's not able to speak clearly and sometimes you seeing eye. there are people who left where their helpers were and traveled to where their enemies were not knowing literally took their hands to their enemies because they lacked the seeing eye Ladies and gentlemen, your confidence in life is highly predicated on your ability to see. The prophet, in spite of the threat of the armies, he stood still in confidence because his servant was blind. And God said, I know the problem of this man. And inspired the prophet to open his eyes. And he saw that they that were with them were by far greater than they that were against them. Ladies and gentlemen, when you have the seen eye as a man of god you can look at five members and see nations the seen eye the seen eye right from the days of nothing by the grace of god and the days of no influence no voice no whatever by the privilege of the seen eye our confidence was still high knowing that god does not lie can i tell you when god shows you the future you will stand confident you would dance in the midst of nothing like a madman because you are seeing what others are not seeing you will get up from a dream you will get up from a vision and tap your loved ones and say hallelujah deliverance has come for this family they will say we don't understand what you are saying they will say i am I've seen it hallelujah when there was a storm the apostle got up and said you know what have no fear the angel of the Lord has appeared to me and he showed me that there shall be no loss and the Bible says upon that confidence they saw through the storm until they arrived at an island called Melita the storms in your life today are overwhelming you 
and telling on your integrity as far as your love for God is concerned because you have no eyes to see beyond the now. If you have the eyes to see beyond the now, you will sit in, even in the midst of nothing and sing praises and give thanks because you have seen beyond the now. Please sit down. Dreams and visions. When it's time to pray, we are going to ask the Lord, purify my dreams, purify my vision. And for some of you, I don't know what happened to your Christian life, that your visions are not clear again, or you do not even see. There are some of you, you were so graced and gifted by God, you can literally sit down like you are watching me, and watch the movies of your destiny unravel. Either through carelessness, familiarity, or lack of discernment, you lost it. Tonight, may there be a restoration. I say it again, may there be a restoration that I may receive my sight. The sight I lost that I may receive my sight. When God gives you the it was through a dream that the Lord spoke to Abimelech. When Abimelech was going to take Abraham's wife, a dream came. Yes, Mr. Man, this is a covenant woman. A covenant child is coming out of this. You are a dead man already if you fight this, this vision. And Abimelech got up in the morning and said, I'm sorry, and gave Abraham gifts. That's how he left Egypt wealthy. Hallelujah. Can I tell you the truth? You must pray for a resurrection of your dreams our fathers some of them were not educated but my goodness through the channel of dreams and visions they walked in accuracy that did not make sense they said things five years before it happened you have your eyes open already what you are praying for tonight is not just an open eyes it's a seeing eye your eyes have been open for far too long but the veil is still upon you and you continue to fall prey to the vicissitudes of life let me give you number two is god helping someone the gift of sight number two the moment the believer receives the gift of sight the second area that begins to speak in your life are you ready now is your imaginations and your creativity write it down the first revelation of the Holy Spirit in scripture was not as a healing spirit, was not even as a restoring spirit. It was as a creative spirit. When God gives you the miracle of open eyes, hear me, the second area in your life that is activated is your imagination and your creativity. And you please listen to what I have to say here. The mental pictures and the goals and the plans that frame your destiny are a product of this advantage. Otherwise, you will cook up things by yourself that have no blueprint. God can breathe upon your mind and you will come up with prophetic pictures that begin to spell the goal for the next level of your life. In Genesis chapter 11, 1 to 5, we see the power of imagination. The whole earth was of one language and one speech. And then the Bible says it came to pass that as they journeyed, they found a plain in the land of China and dwelt there. Verse 3. The Bible says they said to one another, Go to, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. Let us make stone and slime for mortar. Verse 4. And then the Bible says they said, Let us build a city and a tower whose top may reach the heavens and let us make us a name lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the earth verse 5 and the Lord came down to see he didn't come down to hear he came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men built. let's read verse 6 the Bible says and the Lord said behold the people is one and they have all one language and this they begin to do hallelujah and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined 
your imagination is a miracle god deposited that ability in you because your imagination like the prophetic can go into the future can go into yesterday your imagination can go to places that you cannot yet go physically imagination is someone learning in exodus chapter 31 1 to 6 have partnered with demon spirits and continue to come up with witty inventions ideas that redefine civilization and believers do not know that the miracle of sight can translate to a creative mind when you know this it will tell on the kinds of songs that you bring from the spirit yes sir some of these songs that you hear and you wonder how did this person write this song i can tell you it's not just visions and dreams not all of them were just received verbatim they sat down and the breath of the spirit came upon their creativity and they conjured words and melodies together that your heart cannot stop singing creativity creativity there are people today who have been rewarded by nations because they sustained the intelligence to download superior technological ideas, superior solutions via the medium of creativity and imagination. Hmm. You want to prosper? Here is where that possibility comes upon you. The breath of the Almighty. You will think out creative ideas. God will show you things that others are not seeing. And with it, God will begin to rewrite your life. And believe me, this works. Is someone learning? There are people today who design clothes. And there is no end to their creativity. There are architects today who have designed whole cities and nations. How do you think those things came? I hope you know anything you imagine you only imagine it because it already exists if it does not exist it cannot be captured in your imagination anything that finds itself in your imagination it is because it has a frame in the realm of the spirit already your assignment is to culture your creativity such that you see and edit the thoughts and the pictures that are inconsistent with your destiny and select the ones that will give material frame to God's speakings in your life. The fact that you can imagine a thing means it already exists. You think I'm joking? Ask people in the movie industry. You think I'm joking? Ask architects. You think I'm joking? Ask professionals. Ask artists. There are artworks today that are worth tens and hundreds of millions of dollars. Out of nowhere you say, someone just began to paint. No, you lied. It was always there. It was simply transported and it followed the gate of imagination. So your Bible says, Ephesians 3.20, Now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly, far above all we ask some versions who say, imagine, imagine, imagine. Can I tell you the truth? If you lack this faculty of creativity and imagination, after one week of preaching, you will not have sermons again. Did you hear what I said? It is beyond seeing visions. The realm of imagination and creativity is also the realm where productivity lies. There is no end to the vast resources of intelligence that comes out from within your mind. I am certain that the sermons you've embraced have been a wellspring of blessings lifting your life and igniting a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God. We extend a heartfelt invitation for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ensuring you remain connected and never miss any upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription transcends a mere click. It symbolizes a dedication to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled odyssey with us as our channel strives to become a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and steadfast believers. We staunchly believe in the transformative prowess of God's Word, and our objective is to disseminate messages that deeply resonate with the essence of your soul. Become a part of our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom, your presence is integral to this uplifting journey.
and may the abundant blessings of God overflow in every facet of your life. Amen. Stay connected with us across all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel and explore more on our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Gratitude fills our hearts and may God's abundant blessings continue to grace your life abundantly.